Hey everybody, it's Dan Levine, Artistic Director at ACT of Connecticut. And I'm Katie Diamond, Executive Director at ACT. And I'm Brian Perry, Resident Music Supervisor at ACT. And welcome to our very first episode of Broadway Bakes, What's Cooking at ACT? Yeah! Places, everyone, places, the show's about to start. Watch us stuff our faces, all the things we do for art. The star of this production really takes the cake. Out of the oven, it's time for Broadway Bakes. What's cooking at ACT? I'm starving. So glad that you guys are joining us today. Now, many of you might not know that Katie Diamond, our executive director at ACT, aside from being a wonderful mother to Rosie, Cora, and Luke, a great wife to Bill Diamond, a fabulous partner to me and Brian, she is also a highly skilled and magnificent baker. Katie bakes cakes. Brian, tell us about Katie's cakes. I will tell you about Katie's <laughs> cakes. So like, I don't actually have to lie here. They're ridiculous. They're ridiculously good. We're very lucky, Dan and I. She uh, will bring cakes over to us to like try them out. And they're, they're like the best things you've ever tasted. Or I'll text you at 9 p.m. and tell you to come pick And then I do, and I do, because yeah. they're that good. And we're very, very grateful for Katie for, uh, for sharing those with us. They, <laughs> they become kind of world famous if you just sort of follow Katie's Facebook page. Um, they've been gala items. These are like high end, amazing, stupid good cakes. When did you start baking cakes? Not until quarantine started. That's I had never made a cake from <laughs> scratch until quarantine started. That's I mean, amazing. guys, they're not that good. No, they're, 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 they're cakes. I just go through like months of quarantine just for your cakes. <laughs> yeah, I won't eat all day in order to enjoy the cake at night. So Katie, explain, what are we doing here? What are we doing with uh, Broadway Bakes What's Cooking at ACT? Explain. Right. Well, so I love baking cakes and I love ACT and I love theater um, and I love a theme. <laughs> so like it really inspires me in my cake making if I have an idea, a theme uh, for my cake. So I had this idea that we should combine those two passions of cake making and theater uh, into this little series where I make cakes that are about the shows we're doing at ACT. I think it's amazing. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, why not? And our show coming up at ACT is The Last Five Years, Jason Robert Brown's Last Five Years, which we're so excited about. So today's uh, Broadway Bakes, uh, What's Cooking at ACT, is all about the last five years, and Katie will be designing and creating a last five years cake. Now, before we get started on that, I want to uh, explain that obviously we are not in masks and we are not social socially distancing ourselves. And the reason for that, of course, as you know, Brian and I uh, are married. Um, and essentially, Katie and I and Brian are also married. Um, Kate, Kate, we all made the decision uh, at the beginning of COVID uh, to continue to work together. Um, we decided to uh, essentially isolate and quarantine uh, together for the first few months um, of COVID. We're at the theater together all the time. We're doing the show together. Um, and what you should know is that we get COVID tests actually every Friday at 11 a.m. our commitment to one another. Um, we are always extraordinarily safe when we're out and about, when we're at the theater, but when it's the three of us, it's like family. And we've decided, uh, we made that decision. And I'm just here baking all the time. Yeah. I, I never leave my house. And I don't leave the office. Good. So, we, And Brian doesn't leave the piano. So anyhow, <laughs> we're thrilled that you're here. Let's get to it. Yep. Welcome to Broadway Bakes. What's cooking at ACT? Okay, so as we mentioned, uh, the last five years is the show coming up at ACT. We are so excited to be back after seven months of an extended intermission. Uh, we can't wait. We open October 28th, and the show runs to what? November, November 15th. November 15th. Mm -hmm. um, we are able to have uh, limited uh, in-person uh, audience members, but we also can have, we're st live streaming the yeah. show yeah. Um, every night, which is really, really exciting. We're thrilled that we can uh, live stream. So if people don't feel comfortable coming back to the theater yet, they can watch it from home. Anyhow, today, today's baking segment is all about the last five years. The last five years is a really interesting show. Um, it was written by Jason Robert Brown. Uh, Brian, tell us a little bit about Jason Robert Brown and this show. Uh, Jason Robert Brown is just uh, an incredible composer, arranger, lyricist, music director, orchestrator. He does it all. Um, and he has this brilliant way of fusing uh, like contemporary rock styles with a sort of classical element. And it's, just, it's a joy to play. I can't wait to play it. Yeah, he's, he's actually been compared to, to Stephen Sondheim and, and is considered really one of the greatest contemporary uh, musical theater uh, composers uh, of our time right now. Um, so, Katie, how is this cake? How is, does this cake relate to the last five well, years? Do you want to show the final result? Yeah, first? let okay. me show you the cake first and then we'll talk about it and what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the cake. Let me make it so y'all oh can gosh. see it. Amazing. So, as you can tell, it's kind of a fractured cake. Mm. And the reason for that is 
the story of the last five years is about a relationship, a five-year relationship of Kathy and Jamie and their very kind of fractured relationship. Uh, they get married uh, during that five years, they get divorced. So this is kind of meant to represent like their wedding cake, but as you can see, you can see the inside. It's like you can see the inside of their relationship and it's not all perfect. Is like, that gold? Like It is, yeah. Like yeah, so the layers of cake, which actually also has to do with, with the theme of the show, um, is kind of about the Shmuel song, which is part way through the show and it's during Christmas time, holiday time. Um, and I thought the flavors were kind of indicative of, of Christmas. Of Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, so what, the, the chocolate time? flavors are chocolate and bourbon. I kind of thought that Jamie probably drinks bourbon at Christmas time, right? Mm -hmm. Why imagine. not? So does the music director. So does the music director. <laughs> and then the vanilla layers are actually a sugar cookie flavor. Um, and it has uh, Bailey's Irish Cream, Amaretto, oh. and vanilla vodka in it. Oh, also yeah. good for the music director. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. And the frosting even has vodka in it. I feel like maybe Kathy and Drinky <laughs> Kathy and Jamie has vodka in it. I feel like maybe Kathy and Drinky. <laughs> Kathy and Jamie Drinky, right? Yes, right. I think they have to. I bet they drink it. Yeah. I, I promise I didn't drink today. Well, I will say I that the, the relationship as it, it's a really cool. Um, the, the the way that the story is told is it is told. I can't wait for our audience to see it, but it's told, um, Jamie's version is ch told in chronological order, and Kathy's version is told in reverse chronological order, and they only actually are in the same place and same time at their wedding, which is halfway through the show. It's a really cool uh, concept, um, and I think that this cake really sort of tells that story. I mean, I would look at this cake and I would say, it looks like a wedding cake that kind of fell apart, yeah. that kind of got fractured. Yeah. Good. And yeah, so. But that tastes delicious. That tastes yeah, I delicious. I hope, I hope. We're gonna try it later. Yeah. Tell me how you like think about these things though. How did you like, how did the concept for this come? Well, you know, I try, I tried a few different things. Um, and I, I wanted to do, I just really wanted it to show that there's like layers to the, you know, every relationship has layers and a story and, and parts that aren't so pretty and naked parts and, and beautiful parts. And I just kind of thought that, you know, this story in particular is really about these two people trying to figure those naked vulnerable parts out together and ultimately not being able to in the end and, and separating. But I just thought this was a really neat way to show, um, you know, that when you get married at that moment, it's it's all perfect, you mm -hmm. know, and then you start taking layers away and you figure out what the yeah. problems are and yeah. you try and work through them. So. Yeah. I don't know. That was my. That's really cool. Really Thank you. So smart. Thank um, you. The last five years premiered in New York City uh, in the early 2000s, and since then it has developed an almost cult like uh, following. For those that know the show and know the music, people become really obsessed with the show. Um, it became a movie uh, in what, 2000? <laughs> I know. She loves the show. When was it a movie? 2014, I think. Maybe 2014, yeah. uh, with Jeremy Jordan and uh, Anna Kendrick. Um, it's just a glorious, glorious show, and the music is. I just can't wait to. I can't wait for our audience. It's going to be great. So let's uh, so, get to work. How, do you, yeah. how did you make this All right. thing? Okay, so I st I, I'm going to ask you guys to help me make the next version of this. All right, we're going to try and recreate this. Now, <laughs> Brian, Brian and happens. my favorite show, well, one of our favorite shows at night to watch is called Nailed It on Netflix, right? Nailed It? Yeah, yeah. Nailed It. Tell us about Nailed It, Brian. Mm -hmm. Nailed It is uh, it's a really funny show where people who don't bake try to like bake and make it beautiful. And it's like the ultimate like. Show. Pinterest fail, so you're about to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. We're gonna nail it. All right, so. Probably not. <laughs> I put a lot of it together for you guys already. That's nice of um, you. You know, it, this, this cake looks like it's not, I don't know, it doesn't look that intricate right now, but there are actually five dowels inside of it to hold it upright. That's because nice. when you have more than four layers, you have to ha you have to secure it with something. So that, that sounds like a, a tip from Katie. That's a tip, yeah, that's a tip. Okay. Yeah, you need, you need to have securing things in there. And Wait, how many, there's one, two, Three, it's five, it's five layers. layers. Okay. So okay. when you, yeah, when you have, really when you have more than three layers, you should. So there's actually a cake like this, a cake uh, form. Oh. Form? No. Whatever. Like it's, a circular piece yeah, of cardboard? Yeah, a thing, a cardboard <laughs> cake. I forget what it's called. Anyway, it's be, it's between the uh, these layers. So we have we have three layers and we have two more layers on top. Anyway, you don't care about that. So when you cut it, you... <laughs> 
cut up above you like yeah so when i cut this there's only going to be two layers before i, I reach some cardboard that, so you know it. you'll take it off and you'll cut it got it you know behind the scenes mm -hmm. that's how you do it <laughs> yeah, behind so, the scenes cool. anyway so i put the cake together oh but you know what the really important part of this is that i need to tell you so each of the layers i made the i made the layers ahead of time right i made them yesterday and then i put them in the fridge you want them to be cold right mm. because then you have to cut the tops off to make them uh flat mm, yeah, yeah. And then when you cut the tops off, you have to put more alcohol on them. Okay. Oh. Or, sweet. Sim or simple syrup. But Wait. I make simple syrup with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better. How do you now? It nailed it sometimes when they come out of the oven and they take them out of the thing before they put them in the refrigerator to cool it, like you just said. Yeah. Oftentimes it falls apart. Yeah, because it's too hot. And then you have to, they like sometimes just put it back together with their hands. Yeah, that's not okay. Oh, okay. That's why. It, that's why it's a big mess. Yeah. Baking tips with Katie. Baking, yeah. That's why it's a big mess. No, okay. it has to be totally cool. In fact, cold when you're trying to like put it together mm, okay. and you have to keep, you know, that's why it takes a while because you have to keep chilling it after you. Mm. So I did this first layer, which this is called a crumb coating. So yeah. it's when you put the first layer of buttercream or whatever frosting you're using on it. Um, it's so that it holds all the crumbs in oh. and then you put it back in the fridge and then you take it out and you frost it however you're going to frost it. So you can either cover it all the way now, uh -huh. or what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave some of these naked parts exposed and we're gonna put letter cream just in sections mm -hmm. of it. Okay. And what are the, so in terms of the cake, what are the mm -hmm. flavors of the cake itself? It's the it's the sugar cookie, uh -huh. uh, and then it's the chocolate, chocolate bourbon. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Christmasy flavors, yeah. right? It's and the, actually, how much, how much how much alcohol much. goes in there? I mean, <laughs> there's right. a bit. There's cool. a bit. But you can make this without that. You can actually, here's, the, oh, here's another tip about baking. So if you're, bake, if you're baking a cake, like it's going in the oven, you can just add alcohol. You don't have to take any other liquid away. You just add the alcohol mm -hmm. and it still will bake fine. And the alcohol sort of burns off anyhow? Yeah, a, a, percentage. a certain percentage okay. does. But, but you don't have to like take milk away to make, uh, to make room for the vodka, like that. You just can add the alcohol. Good to but know. if you're not baking it, like if it's in the frosting, like there's alcohol in the frosting, mm -hmm. I use that instead of other liquid. Ah, okay. So anything that's not being cooked, you have to replace the other liquid with the alcohol. Do you, is this, yes. is this from another rest? is this from a rest? are you just creating these ideas or is it like, are you figuring out? Um, so I just, I basically took a vanilla cake recipe mm -hmm. and then I added the flavors in, into it to make mm -hmm. it sugar cookie flavor, mm -hmm. the, the alcohol. And do you have like a, a knowledge base of like complementary flavors, like how much flavoring you put in? I that's mean, always a thing. Or you just, it's I'm just, just kind of like a bartender. Apparently. But that's cool. You have like an intuition about it. That's really well, cool. I don't know. I mean, I, I looked up how much alcohol you can actually put into a cake for it to still rise the right amount, mm. and, you know, as you're baking. Um, and then I just kind of put the, yeah. So I just, you, you, did, you dealt with the science behind it, essentially. I, I mean, well, I will say, via Google. <laughs> uh, yes. Katie, yes. Katie made us. <laughs> A, a sushi themed cake a couple weeks ago and yeah. I was tuna flavored. No, it was it was not. It was so <laughs> it looked like real sushi. It was amazing. It was like the best. Check out her had. Facebook, Katie Diamond's Facebook page, and you can see pictures. It was a of fun all one. The sushi oh, one was fun. Yeah. And next time I make it, I'm gonna put sake in it. Yes. Ah, yeah. Right? Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay, anyway, right, so you go. guys are procrastinating. I know, sorry, sorry. You have to learn how to do this. Right. Okay. Now so, that you know what? Actually, I'm gonna put this here so that you can actually use it as a guide. Okay. You can, okay, if you're if you're trying to make a cake like this and you want it to be super smooth, you're putting buttercream everywhere and you want it to be really flat and smooth, then I would trim these layers so that they're all even. See how they're uneven? Mm -hmm. But with I With a knife? With a knife. You can use just a serrated knife and you can actually trim it. But I wanted all these Mm. dark colors to show through and I kind of wanted it to be imperfect because that's the point of I it. I think that's great. Mm. So I didn't do that. Um, okay, I just noticed like the pearls. Oh yeah. You just Daniel, noticed. you I, just I, noticed that? I did just notice it. Yes. Okay. So, but, but even though I want it to be uneven and imperfect, I still don't want it to be like cray cray. So mm. like for this one, I, I decided to put the buttercream where it was really sticking, protruding, you know, so just to kind of cover it a little mm. bit. So I'm going to let you guys do that. You do it. So, okay. so you're gonna you're gonna just take a a spot of this and and put more buttercream on it. You're gonna put so a layer sort of buttercream. Do this. Do you need me to help you? And that's for the, the we're essentially doing this. Yes, you're I essentially see. doing this. Okay. Uh huh. I you're see. gonna do two chunks basically of buttercream. So I'm just gonna sort of go. Uh huh. Just There's go. no technique to buttercream. Well, I mean, you don't. Is this too much on the knife? No, it's fine. That's right. really fine. So I'm just gonna put it on. Just put it on. Just do it. Just like do just cover a big swath. All right, I'm not going to be afraid. So this first go is just deciding where you want the buttercream. Okay. Okay. And then after you decide where you want it, then we're going to smooth it out. Okay. Am I a natural? You're a natural. Look uh -huh. at you go. 
we're gonna smooth it out and then we're gonna we're gonna chill it a bit after you know after okay. you do the first the, the first go here i'm moving the camera down sorry you're gonna do one side and then right. we're gonna have dan do this side and then we're gonna see yeah, it's, it's, better. A, it's a contest Everything's a Nailed contest. Brian, <laughs> right, as you're uh, as you're um, putting the buttercream on, or the, it's not called frosting; it's buttercream. It's buttercream, but oh. it's frosting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the music of last five years, or the style, or anything that you um, love about it? Uh, well, the music of last five years. Every song, it's really cool, is its sort of own little universe, <laughs> um, and every song tells its own story, and so the musical style kind of reflects um, each song. Katie's first song in the show, uh, or I should say Kathy's first song in the show, is this beautiful song called uh, I'm Still Hurting. And it quotes a very famous um, classical piece of music that you might hear in church all the time, especially at a wedding. Um, Use the joy of man's desiring. So the whole thing is sort of based on that, and it's super, super cool. And then it goes in and out of like, as Jamie is a sort of young, boisterous uh, guy, um, it's very like rock oriented and, and, you know, very rhythmic and driving. Um, and it's really, really fun to play. Katie, how long should this take? I mean... <laughs> Frosting a cake. Look, I'm very... It takes me a while. No, listen, when I frost a cake, I, like, love it, and I... And my kids know that I'm, like, in my cake zone, and they leave me alone, and I, like, get my coffee, and I sit here, and I think about it, and mm. I spend a lot of time doing it, because I like it. It's good. But, I mean, if I needed to knock it out quickly, I could. I could do it... I mean, you have to... The problem is you have to chill it between coats and stuff, so... It, you know, it takes a few hours. It, it only takes a few hours. Yeah, I tried to do that. But from start okay, to finish, okay. how long would the whole cake take? I mean... A day? Yeah. It takes me a while. Mine's not smooth. Okay, okay? so here's, here's Brian's. It's, it's fine if it's not smooth, because this is what we're going to do. I'll show you, okay? Because... Oh, is there a tool to make it smooth? Oh, that's There's a tool. tool. This oh, is a tool. See, so you need, a, you need um, this straight edge tool. And then you just make it smooth. Right? Oh! This. Oh, see, I feel like this makes the difference between looking horrifying. It does. It does. And like a Katie Diamond cake. It does. It's all about. It's all about the tools. <clears throat> wow. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Oh, look yeah. at you. Where did that? Did, it's just. Just something I know. Wow. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of tools that make so everything a lot easier. Normally, I would easier. be licking that. Like, yeah, is, is I that mean, do that you know. Yeah. So, all right, Dan, you ready for your side? All right. Um, now I often I'm gonna have, step out and let Dan do it. I often have trouble in the kitchen because I'm left left handed. Oh wow, well, that's a good excuse. Which is my excuse. Mm -hmm. All um, right, so so your yours is gonna be easier. We're gonna do a, do a smaller section, okay? Okay. Um, because we don't want to cover the whole thing, right? right? We, we have want the, the yeah, fracture. We want the fracture to show. So. so can they see? All right, they can see. So yeah. I'll do. I'll do like here. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Okay. Just make sure that you don't go too far over here so that we can have some of the fracture. Oh, that's the fracture there too? Yeah, so you, you kind of want it into I see, I a couple see. places. Okay. And maybe don't even go all the way down to the bottom here. Maybe I just, um, okay. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Should I use more? Um, Sure, or you could spread this pile around <laughs> just a little bit. I'm just, I don't know. All right, wait, I'll spread. It's up to you. You're Right now, you're in charge. All right. Sweetie, you are nailing it. You are nailing it. it. You are totally down oh my God, it. I've never done this. I've never done anything like this before. Have you ever baked anything? No. Never? Not even like muffins or... No. no. Not even with your mom as a kid? No. <laughs> <funny. laughs> That's the funniest thing that we've said all day. That was about. funny. Well, that was a good one. Um, all right. That's it. That's all I got. Well, I can okay. smooth it with that. Okay. Well, okay. Can I just... That's great. Let's watch the match. I'm just going to oh. smooth it a little more. Yeah. I want to eat that so bad. Yeah. We're going to eat it. Can we just skip to eating it? That'd well, be great. we have to make it <laughs> delicious first, and then we can eat it. So, all right. So, we need to chill this for just a little bit before <clears throat> okay. we do more. Okay. So, should we let it chill and take a break? Yeah, let's take a little break. All right. Let's have some coffee. We'll be right back with coffee. more Broadway Bakes. Is that what we're calling it? Broadway Bakes? Broadway. What's cooking at ACT? All right, so we're back, and magically, this cake is now um, beautifully frosted. Is well, that what you call it wouldn't go that crazy. I just okay. did, I did another layer on it, just in the interest of time. I hope <laughs> you guys are slow, but you know, just saying. <laughs> All right, um, what's next? And then we have to chill it a little bit because this next part you have to do when it's cold. Very cold. Okay, okay. All right, so this is an impression mat. You can see it. Mm. Um, it has like a diamond uh, pattern. Get it, diamond. Diamond. Oh, oh my God, guys. <laughs> um, so this it's is her how last name. No. Yeah, people if they didn't get that. I, well, you know, maybe they <laughs> so this is how we're making this diamond diamond pattern. Oh, wait, let's cake, right? So this is yeah. the. I don't know if this you can is see the, it. Can you see the diamonds there? Yeah, that's what you want to make. It. So that's how we're making this diamond pattern. Is with this. We start with this impression. So I'm gonna let you do. I'm gonna let you do your side. All right. Your side is this big. 
honk inside. So what I you're gonna do- I frost it too much. I always frost too much. It's actually the perfect size cake for the impression mat because okay. it's like exactly the right. Okay. So what, is there a technique here? Or? So the technique is, well, you wanna make sure that you're getting all the way to the end of where you frost it, right? Got it. So here's the end. So you're just gonna to wanna to press it in and then you wanna just make sure that each- Let's show the back. Line, the you wanna make sure that each line is pressed in, just gently like, press it with your hands. You're not trying to like actually make the lines, you're just trying to make the impression so you can see where the lines are supposed to be. Okay, Understand? and then you sort of cut. And then, yeah, and then I'll do the- So it's like, a it's, it's like a guide. guide. It's a guide, it's a guide, I exactly. see, so I'm gonna press this so You're gonna in. press it, just make sure you like, just run your thumb over each little line. I'm gonna boil some water for the next part. Hey, Katie, while you're boiling water, yeah. um, tell everybody why, uh, you've been obsessed with the last five years since the early 2000s. I have, tell, I have. Uh, Why, what do you love about the show? Uh, I don't know. It just like from the time it came out. Oh, there's the butter boiling. From the time it came out in 2000, whatever, two, 2003, when did it come out? Two. Around there. Two. Um, and I was in Seattle, doing theater in Seattle at the time, and I remember getting the album. And I just, I don't know. I was just like drawn to the music and the story. And you know, I was in my 20s, so I guess it was like time in life where you're kind of like relationships are kind of everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And by the way. And, Katie sings it really well. Yeah, right? You're all in just, the retreat. Uh, just wait. Okay, it's really. I do. I she do can sing it. and bake. She <laughs> can sing it better than I can do an impression now. Well, I don't know if this is going well. I think you're doing well. I think you, you I probably just... did enough. You probably did enough. Let's take it off gently. Let's see if this happens. Take it off and see if there's any little lines there. Oh, oh. see. Did you I make lines? lines? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. So then what we're gonna do? Here, that's sweet. Uh, here, <laughs> you do you do your side now. All right, you do you. You do you. You're gonna get a chance to to work on your side here. How, do it. how much pressure to... can I put on it? Not uh, too much. Not it's like a sweet right. spot thing. It is a sweet spot. And it you're running a thumb over it. Run your thumb over the lines oh. so that you see all the impressions in there. All right, this is going to be hard. Okay. Wow. Really good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you think you could do this at home? Make, make one yourself? Uh, I could eat it. All right. That's fine. All right, so now I just boiled some water. You can also use like a... What are those things called? Those... Look it. I did it. Good job, good job. All right, we need a towel. So you can't really get water on here. Good job. Look at that, you guys. All right, so now we're, 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 we're natural. Now we're going to take our heated. This so I just put this in boiling water. See, so just oh. dipped it in the boiling water. You can also like put it over a flame, I guess. I don't know, but hmm. you know, you just want it to get warm. You want it to get warm enough. I'll do it in front of the camera that you can actually just you're just going to go over the lines with your heated tool, just ah, to like make. Interesting. Just to make. Stop laughing at me. I mean, I've been, I'm doing this fast now in the interest of time, but you know, this is how we, and then you have to stop and reheat it. You this know? is a good opportunity for one of those like fast moving pieces, you know, where it's like, where you like, oh, yeah. speed up the film. Speed it up. Yeah. Hey, let's speed it up. Ready? Here we go. Um, what do you love about Last Five Years, Dan? I love the music. I love, um, I love how clever the storytelling is. So clever. Um, with the reverse chronological order and the, mm -hmm. um, I love how the, I just love um, both of their perspectives. You know, yeah, what I mean? it's interesting. It really is interesting, and it's neat that you know we sort of see we see the first scene um, from the first scene, like when they have their first date kind mm -hmm. of thing, mm -hmm. uh, from Jamie's perspective. That's sort of the very very first thing that happens, uh, and then the last scene of the show is also the first date told seen by J uh, by, by Kathy's, Kathy, yeah. um, told by Kathy's perspective, um, yet we've already gone through their whole relationship. It's, it's a little, sounds a little confusing, but it's really, really, um, it's just neat and complicated. I, love it. I just and love it. I love it too. Uh, and the film is actually a really good film. It is. I enjoyed the film. Yeah. Norbert Leo Butts um, played, uh, played Jamie in the original. Um, I love him. With uh, love Sherry him. Renee Scott. Love New York. her. She's amazing. The soundtrack's so good. Okay, so I'm making the gold that we're going to paint around the edges that, that are on, on this. Oh, God. Um, See the gold on the edges? You know, it looks so pretty, and it's really super easy. So all you do is you take this edible um, gold powder, I don't know, it's glitter, uh, but edible glitter, and you just you pour a tiny bit in your little bowl, and then you put just like a couple drops, like hardly any, but a couple drops of vodka or lemon juice, and mix it up. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, stop. Only two choices. Anyway, so now we have this ready. We have our pearls ready. Mm. Uh, oops. We have our, our green ready for our uh, leaves, and I've already made our flowers. All right, so now we're ready for, for the last bit. Guys. I've always wondered how to make the, how to make flower, rosettes. <laughs> I just learned that, I just learned how to do that yesterday. 
You did? Stop. You've great. never wondered. But no, but I have. I, I have. have. I totally have. I have. But totally I have. wondered, and I Googled you it. it I YouTubed it. It's the difference. And this was my first, my first go at it. I mean, they're not perfect, but that would be better than my first go. They're cute. They're cute. This I actually want to try. The cake? We're making it? Making the rosette. Oh, rosette. Oh, well, I don't have, I don't have that. You can make the leaves. How about that? <laughs> oh, you make leaves. All right. Do you want to do this part? What do I do? You're just going to take our little piping bay that has some, uh, some white, some more white buttercream. And you're just going to, in, in the little, oh my gosh. Wait, I have to move the camera so you can see what you're doing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Excuse the bumpiness, ladies We're and gentlemen. We're just at the corners here of the, of the diamonds. We're just putting a tiny dab. Diamonds. Okay? Diamonds. And then we're going to take our pearls and just stick them on. Oh. No biggie. Just like that. Easy. And they easy, easy, stay, easy. huh? And they stay with the buttercream, yeah. Totes. So buttercream is just naturally sort of sticky. Yeah. Do you know on... And that's why, but if you're going to frost like this, you have to use buttercream. You can use... Wait, sorry about the bumpy. Swiss mooring frosting or something if you're doing, if you're not doing this kind of frosting. But you need, this is called crusting. This sounds gross, but anyway. Uh, buttercream. <laughs> do you know that I nailed it? Um, they were making buttercream and they forgot to put butter in it. <laughs> How do you do that? Remember that? Well, yeah. How did they? What did they? Is that enough? Do? Wait, I, can, I have to show the audience what you're doing, Brian. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, you have to have a little stubby hand. You can do that. How does that song from Waitress go? Like butter, sugar, pie. What is that? Oh, I don't remember that song. I mean, I I do remember, it, but I can't sing it. I'm just um, only listening to the last five years lately. I know we do. That's all I know. That's all I have. Okay, I feel like I'm not the yeah. greatest at this. Here, we no, can... you're doing good. So if I were you, I would now stop and put the pearls on because otherwise the buttercream will get too track. hard. I see. And you also lose track of where you've been, that's true. Okay. Um, and you don't want the buttercream to harden before you get the pearls on. I see. Okay, as you can see, she has finished putting the pearls on with the buttercream. Yes, here we are. Okay, we have good. all of our pearls on. Let's see. Okay. Um, so now, Dan, mm -hmm. do you want to try this or do you want Brian to try this? The, doing the, um, the gold leaf. I'll try it. You want to try it? It's yeah. fun. It's fun. Also very meditative. So you just go around the very, can you see? Yeah, I'm putting this down more. You Sorry, everybody. You go around the very edges and just paint this gold. Okay? Here, give it a shot. All right. Lefty. And we'll probably speed this up. Here I go. You're like a, a regular uh, front, Picasso. Do the front? No, I'm saying let's just do this. Oh, we'll just okay. do this chunk at least, yeah. and then. Uh, now let's just look what I did. It's good, right? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Really good. I wish that um, when we do this again, you guys, um, audience, will have better production values. <laughs> <laughs> it's our first time. It's our first time. It's our first time. Done that now. You just get to do the very end here, which is to place the flowers. So if you're calling this the front, you kind of, I don't know, I like them to be a little off center. So I would have liked to have made those, make those, I know, made those flowers. Make the flowers. I'm here, sorry. Have, you get to make the leaves. How did you do the um, yellow center? It's just fl more frosting? Yellow food coloring. So, so here's the thing I learned about flowers, which I learned yesterday, by the way. <laughs> so you, you take some buttercream and you put more powdered sugar in it to make it almost like a Play-Doh-y kind of consist consistency. And then you make like a little dome out of it. Just a little, like a little dome of Play-Doh buttercream. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you can, you put the little uh, yellow centers on top. The just, stamens. The stamens. Yes, the stamens. Thank you. And then you just start wrapping around the, the petals with your other. Cool. Petals? Is there another word for petals? Well, these are petals. petals. What do you mean? Like uh, flower I was petals. hoping for like, you know. Oh, one kind of scientific. <laughs> I don't have that information. I really but I like the science. You like the science. All right, so you guys can decide where you want to put the flowers on your cake. Okay, and we can where just pick them, them up. Yeah, you can just pick them up. So, well, well, wait a second. You do have to take the paper off. Yeah. Okay. But I was just showing. Is that edible paper? It is not. It is parchment paper. Yeah, you, you're going to want to make them on parchment paper. And actually, if you show the underneath, you'll see the little. Um, What's that underneath? The little play doh uh, buttercream. Oh, to hold it. Yeah. You can put a little, uh, just to make sure it stays where you want it to stay. Oh. Just put a little, one right there. Yeah, that's like the glue. A little buttercream on it. A little buttercream on the sky, on the bottom. Hmm, interesting. Who <laughs> wants to make a leaf? I do, I do. I, that's what do I Do you want me to show you how to do it? Yeah. Okay. He's like, no. <laughs> so this is how you make the leaf. So so here we have like, I'll see if I can clean this off so you can see it. It's like um, two little points on this on this uh, piping tip. Hmm. So, but you want the, the points to be sticking up, okay? 
Oh, to, yeah, to make like the vein. See? To make mm -hmm. the vein, yeah. The so vein, they, is that science? Like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. That's cool. All right, here, give it a shot. All right, so the piping tip has, the point has to be up. Uh-huh. And uh, you can and press it, yeah, wherever you want the leaf to be. Yeah. Sweet, that looks really good. Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh my gosh. You I think like you found your calling. Oh. I can make leaves. They're so good, Dan. Really? I think they're better than mine. Look at it. Look, they're better than mine. That is good. Yeah. Dan spends a lot of time with our roses. It's so. really good. I'm quite impressed with your leaf making skills. I, I am a botanist. <laughs> I know you are. I like that. I actually, these are, this is the That's best, a, the best part of the cake is the leaves. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Okay, so we have now, well, we didn't do the pearls on the top, do we care? No, I think it's fine. I think we're good. Here, let's get close on I the cake. I think we're good. Let's get a close up of our cake. Here. Oops. Here's That's like the this one. real one. Oh yeah, there it is, like that. And Oops. here's, what do you mean the real one? They're both real. Well, you know what I'm saying. They're both real. All right, should we try it now? Yeah. Should we try it? Yes. Suck. Oh, I did get this. Do we want to put this on? Yes. I thought this was fun. Look, just Mary. Oh, yes. that's good. It's like burlap, like farmhouse wedding. Farmhouse kind of thing. wedding. Should, yeah. we, um, should we cut it and eat it? I think we should. Let's have a piece. All right. All right. All right. Here we are. Cutting the cake. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, it's so sad. My cake. Do you feel like a sense of loss every time you... Um... No, I love it when people eat my cakes. I really do. It's nice. So I just hit a... Piece of circular cardboard? Yes, <laughs> and a dowel. <laughs> that is the danger of the dowels in the cakes. You probably should take them out before you try and cut it, but here I we are. I can't believe I'm about to eat a piece of cake. In the like... interest of time. Here's the cake. Oh. Uh, on the inside. Thank you. For you. I'm just going to show everybody. <laughs> everybody can see our like horrible setup right there. Yep. All right, here we go. Don't show them our horrible setup. Well, you know. Only prettiness. Oh my god, it's really like the perfect consistency. Ready? Yeah. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Ooh! Is it good? Alcoholic. Is it? Boozy. Yeah. All right, you try it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's a really good? good flavor. The chocolate or the vanilla? Which one's better? I don't know. Mmm. It's good. All right, Brian, moment of truth. All right, wh where's the best bite? Like, you only want to get the best bite, I don't know. right? What are, you, are you like a frosting first person? Yeah. Like this? I always do that first. And so, this first layer is what? Sugar cookie? Yeah, that's sugar cookie flavor. All right. Mm -hmm. So, I got sugar cookie, buttercream, and a leaf. Mmm. Delish. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Isn't it good? Yes. Is the sugar cookie yeah. good? Yeah, it's so good. Wait, I got to try the chocolate bourbon now. Try the chocolate. This is not my usual lunch. I'm kind of a healthy right? person. It's mine. Mmm. <laughs> that bourbon really comes through. Is it? Yeah, you just get like a little like. What about in the in the vanilla? Can you taste the um the amaretto? And the Baileys. Yeah. And the vodka. You can. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Can you try it? Is right. this the mm -hmm. first time you're trying it? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm. give myself a whole piece, but Good. I have a whole cake. Well, I think that we mm. could say that Yummy. our first, I don't know if you can see me. I'm going to try this. Can you see me? That our first uh, Broadway baking, Broadway Bakes, Broadway Bakes, What's Cooking at ACT, mm -hmm. was a success. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. I hope it you guys. It was fun. I, it was fun for us. I hope you learned a lot. Um, last five years opens at ACT when? October 28th. October 28th runs till uh, November 15th. 15th yeah. uh, there are in-person tickets, live stream tickets. We cannot wait to be back and we can't wait to see you at the theater soon. Thanks you guys, see you soon. And if you could like like this a lot, it'll help so we can keep doing this and I can yeah. keep eating more cake. So, <laughs> lots of likes, lots of shares. Thank you. Thank see ya. You.